Can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. Thank you. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. I don't think there's any doubt now that we're going to have uh, a fight to the finish here. A really exciting end to the season. I think any neutral loves to see it. I mean, it's nerve shredding for the teams involved. You can't make a mistake at this stage because it might just cost you dearly. Sheffield Wednesday in excellent form. They certainly showed it in their home match, their last match against Wigan Athletic. Yeah, 3-0. Comfortable for them and uh, they're flying at the moment. I think they'll win again. And number 14... Gary Hooper! Good luck. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Kieran Westwood plays in goal. In attack, Gary Hooper starts. He was man of the match last time out. Check for you on how Brentford will line up for this match. Julien Janvier starts despite looking shaky in recent games. Only one up front in terms of an out and out forward. <laughs> Terrific uh, entertainment uh, on offer here, I'm sure, as the game gets underway. Watkins anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Must take the lead here. Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however the opposition sets up against them, they have the power to break them down. It's really exciting, it's really entertaining. And as you've seen, yet again, it's really effective. Another angle on it here. Oh, look at the manager. He works hard on his team on the training ground and he's seen some reward for it down there now. Sheffield Wednesday with the lead. Sheffield Wednesday goal. Number 14. It's McLeod. Gary Cooper. He's given the free kick, but no sign of the card. Maybe he just wants to make sure he's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking. Well, that's good defending. Cleared well. Well, not that well, because they're going to have to do some more defending now. Now McLeod. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. In comes the challenge. Hooper. Watkins. Got one possession back with that tackle. It's a good place to win the ball here. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Slip through. Chance to cross it. He's playing it back to the goalkeeper. Takes on the shot. 
Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Sam Hutchinson. Stephen Fletcher. Comes in strongly. It's McLeod. It's almost an air of complacency amongst these fans here today. I hope it doesn't get to their players because they might fall on their faces, but they did win the away game very easily, so they'll be expecting to make it a double here. Yeah, it was men against boys, wasn't it, in that reverse fixture? I really can't see it being the same here, you know. It's McLeod. back with an interception. Now McLeod, he's given it away. Now, can he take them on? Well, that's very good defending, they had to get it right, and that defender did it superbly. Woods. Woods. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Woods. It's McLeod. Attacking now. Well, that's a comfortable save from the header. Yeah, that's a poor effort from the lad, and really should have worked the keeper more than that. Now they're pressing in at him. Delivered into the box. Goalkeeper opts to punch. Threads it through. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Wonderful chance. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. And it's going to be a goal kick. They certainly announced that they got uh, a war chest for transfers to improve their squad, Manchester United, and this is one move that they have now made. Well, we're here in around £45 million, pounds, and for that kind of money, the fans will be expecting something pretty decent. Woods. It's McLeod. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Opening them up with a through pass. Whipped in from the wide area. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. It's a yellow card, and, well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. the wall here well the referee has signaled for half time and it's 1-0 here I think that's a good performance isn't it Alan from him in the first half yeah it's a good first 45 minutes from the lad got the ball rolling with that goal and he's been central to most of the good things his team has done
Referee blows, and we're off for the second half. Building steadily here, keeping possession. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. And it's Fletcher. Well, I don't know who the lad saw there passing the ball. Somebody in the crowd, maybe. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Crafting the through pass. Real chance. Real opportunity with a chance like that to pull ahead. Well, that's when a manager wants to see a ruthlessness about his strikers. A switch here for them. In fact, it's going to be a double switch. Two substitutes coming on. It's McLeod. Stephen Fletcher. This could be a chance. They can't stop him. And now they're two up with another fine piece of attacking play. Typical, really, of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on the training ground. The manager has got terrific belief in attacking football. And he must be thrilled, probably beyond even his wildest dreams. They attack, they score. They attack, they score. That's the kind of team they are. Restarting at 2-0. It's McLeod. Stephen Fletcher. Manager thinking for the away side. Time for a change. Read the play well. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Opportunity in a wider area. The shot's on. That was close and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Woods. It's McLeod. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. into the attacking third. Can really get at the opposition here. Can finish it off. Well, he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal. I can only think that got a horrible bobble. You know, that was a shocker.
Woods. Now McLeod. The reminder, the food stands will be open after the game if you'd like to get yourself some post-match snacks. Strong challenge. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Now a goal kick to come. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Well, he's done his bit. He got the goal that put his team in the lead. Can they hold that lead? Number 17, Atty Newlin. And number five, Kieran Lee. Woods well, was good progress with this attack trying to find a way through here probing away and here's the shot well it wasn't the guilt edge chance but it was back into the game yeah, and they mustn't let heads drop because they still have got a decent chance in this match Lees Good place to win the ball here. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Threading it through. What a brilliant goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. They haven't switched off, Alan, late in the game. They've got another one, extended the lead. No, they're not letting up at all, showing their ruthless side. Fair play to them. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game. There's nothing false about it. They've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead. Woods. It's McLeod. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number 45, Fernando That's a brilliant challenge. With the space to go forward into with the ball. Liam Palmer. Good reading of the play by the defender. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Well, we've seen a game here, Alan, where one team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, there was a golfing class out there today, which was surprising, given the two sets of players. I wasn't expecting it. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan? Yeah, top-class performance. Really good goal, and his work ethic was second. The wide man's got a chance here. There's space out there that must take the lead here. Goal, they've taken the lead here. They go in front with this very slick attack. And however, nicely lined up for the set piece specialist here with this free kick. Crafting the through pass. Chance. 
real opportunity with a chance like that to pull ahead. Well, that's when a manager wants to see a ruthlessness of outy strikers. This could be a chance. They can't stop him. And now they're two up with another fine piece of attacking play. Typical, really, of the work of the players and the effort that they put in on... Opportunity in a wider area. The shot's on. That was close and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. Can really get at the opposition here. Can finish it off. Well, he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal. I can only think that got a horrible bobble. You know, that was a shocker. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. And here's the shot. Well, it wasn't a guilt-edged chance, but it was really an opportunity for them to start finding their way back into the game. Yeah, and they mustn't let head... Saw the pass coming and got there first. Threading it through. What a brilliant goal.